Welcome everyone. Hi, Psychic Gigi. I am doing a three card spread for our water sign, which is, for those of you that don't know, is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for this week. Sorry I'm a little late on it, but I have been, um, took a little quick vacation. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. I am a natural gifted visionary psychic. I do channel through my spirit guides and I do offer private readings. All of my information is listed below if you would like to have a personal in-depth reading. This reading might not resonate with everyone, um, but there might be little bits and pieces that you can um, benefit and and get some insight on what your outlook for the week will be. So here we go. I've already shuffled my cards. The first card that I come up with is the King of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles, again, he sits on his throne, he's established, he's craving that financial security. Um, this is connected with the sign of Taurus. So it could be a Taurus that's, that's currently in your life. Um, let's see. But it's all about staying balanced and pursuing our goals in, in our finances. So the King of Pentacles is, is faithful, their, their ambition. This is not gender specific, by the way very confident, they, they easily create wealth, uh, as long as they stay focused, and they do share with others, they're very generous, um, but if you're thinking about becoming or changing your career, um, this might be a good time to start implementing those ideas in order to reach your financial success. The next card that comes is the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands reversed. The Knight of Wands reversed is passion, projects, scattered energy, creating some delays. So maybe we've been recently having some delays in our, our financial success. Maybe we're a little frustrated that we haven't reached um, the financial security that we wanted or we haven't reached... Um, that point in our life and we have to start pursuing our goals get, getting more focused on our goals our passions projects um with all your heart because it generally um lights up not not just our energy but our lives um the the night of wands reverse is you know to me it's like experiencing some considerable built up energy that maybe you haven't um, pursued and you're waiting to pursue it. Um, but this can also create some restlessness energy within us. So make sure that you do, um, you know, kind of use that, that energy, that restless energy that you, you might be having right now and, and just get very creative. Even if you've taken on maybe a new hobby and you've been a little procrastinating about it, this is a time to start, you know, accomplishing everything that you would like. I don't suggest that you concentrate on everything at once right now. Maybe just take one step at a time because, like, if you're rushing from one task to the other without, without any focus on the details and ensuring the, um, you, you might have a difficult time um, sustaining that success that you're looking for. So in the short term, one thing at a time, but in the long term, remember, you have that burning flame, that burning desire within yourself to have what you want and what you need in your life. Um, even if you start to feel frustrated, remember, you know, just rebalance yourself and let go of that frustration. More, uh, stay a little bit more focused. Um, on releasing your fears and again remind yourself that there there are things 
that you can't control or change, but you just have to find the right way that that might be impacting your situation. So if you have any negative thoughts or doubt within yourself, kind of release that and just keep moving forward. Everything comes in good time. Sometimes I, I, I always do say to everyone, um, the universe brings us things when we kind of let go of the fear and just allow ourselves to um, move forward. Stay concentrated. Okay, so the next card that we have, again, this is um, a major arcana. The moon card. So this is, again, releasing the fear of attaining our goals, whatever it is. So if it's repressed emotions, inner confusion that you have within yourself, this is definitely the week to start working on that. But you might have been dealing with some illusions, some fears, anxiety, and now like um, it's really urging us to, it's there. We have the opportunity. It's, it's right there. We have the opportunity to kind of just release it, allow this transformation to happen, experience the moment. So like if you may, you might be of, um, trying to bury some things, some feelings, even deeper feelings within your subconscious mind. Um, kind of avoiding some of your dark shadows um, and you might not be ready to face your emotions but pushing them aside and pretending that nothing's wrong and you're only attaining these financial goals and and this is where you're at right now that might not be the best thing because it will definitely it's it will resurface if these emotions are not dealt with so kind of um, the message that I'm getting from this is, is you need to pay attention to your subconscious mind and your intuition, especially when the, re the moon is reversed. So you guys are kind of being called to listen to your inner voice um, and not the voice of somebody else. Like you need to kind of trust your own answers, your own intuition. And really tune into your inner guidance. That would be really helpful to um, pay attention to this week. So if you guys are, are having like dreams and you keep, you know, I would suggest keeping a dream diary to see what our subconscious mind is telling us at this moment. What are the messages that are being relayed? And if you're feeling a little bit stuck, Again, start journaling. That might help you bring some clarity back into your life. Even if it doesn't happen this week, it might happen in a month or two months, but there's something that's to be said about this moon being reversed, and we, we do need to pay attention to our inter intuition, our inner guidance, because this is this is where we will get the answers for whatever we are searching for in in our lives at the moment okay so I'm going to pull one angel card for you guys because it seems like a lot of confusion going on um, and we do need to kind of release that fear and, and stay focused so let's see what our angel cards say for us this week and well I didn't expect anything different <laughs> guys because here it is it's releasing so this is a good opportunity this week for us to kind of release anything that we've been holding on to that needs to um, be let go um, let's see what else we can get so like when we hold on to our feelings of anger hurt jealousy resentment this can hold us back from being that king of pentacles um, allowing um, their negative ener energy, if there's someone around us, um, allowing their negative energy to um, build up inside and not taking a stand for ourselves. We are just like ensuring that the pain we've experienced in the, in the past at some point will continue, which continues to cause suffering. And we want to release that. We want to let that go. So this is a kind of the time to release those feelings, kind of free yourself from, from being hurt. 
essentially um, at one point in our lives we've all been hurt and it's time to let go so release any grudges that you have all judgment blame from the past Again, express your feelings open, openly and honestly if there's someone that you need to express your feelings to openly and honestly. And so then you can be like free and regain that lightness of your being. Okay, guys, I will um, see you next Sunday. I'm going to be doing these weeklies on Sundays. I was actually away again. I do apologize for the delay. Um, love and light to everyone. Again, my information is below if you'd like a more in-depth reading. Um, and thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and all my information is below if you would like an in-depth reading. Love and light to everyone. Have a great week.